Okay, so now we continue about the common tangent. Okay, now uh, before we learn how to solve problems involving tangents to circle, uh, I want to add knowledge about what is the common tangent. Okay, what do you know about common tangents? Okay, common ni sama sebenarnya. Okay, a common tangent to two circle is actually a straight line that is a tangent to both the circle. Bila ada dua circles, bila kita lukis tangent, actually tangent tu adalah tangent yang sama pada dua circle tu. Tapi bilangan tangent adalah berbeza based on the uh, uh, the situation uh, that uh, the circles can be placed. Okay. So the first one is uh, dia boleh be placed. Okay, bila two circle in the plane intersect at two point. Okay, tadi ialah kita lukis sikit Okay, ini ialah um, situation apabila uh, circles in a plane uh, intersect at two points. Circles intersect at two points. Okay. Okay. The second one is that intersect at one point. Ah, ini dia boleh intersect pada satu point. Tadi intersect pada dua point. Okay. The third one is bila two circles uh, do not intersect. Uh, okay. And then the th uh, the fourth one is overlapping. Okay. okay. Overlap. Overlap to each other. Okay. Contoh overlap. Saya tunjuk sikit. Uh, ini ialah uh, situation bila circle tu overlap. Uh, this one. Ini ialah overlapping. So sekarang ni kita nak lukis. Nak tengok. Uh, berapa bilangan common tangents pada following pairs of circle. So the, uh, tadi kita belajar uh, circle tu dalam keadaan um, touch at two points okay, intersect at two points intersect at one point do not intersect and then the last one is overlapping okay okay, so now kita nak tengok okay, uh, how many common tangents can be drawn on a pair of circles okay, so now uh, the first one is the circle that is overlapping each other so, bila dia overlap, dia hanya ada satu point yang touch each other. Uh, maknanya dia touch pada one point. Uh, okay. So, dekat sini. Uh, how many can be drawn? So, hanya a line. Only one line of tangent can be drawn for overlapping circles. Okay. So, we go to another types of circle. So, this one is actually uh, the circles that are intersect at two points okay uh, these two circles intersect at two points intersect dekat mana okay point A this is the point uh, intersect tu kita tengok berapa bilangan common tangent yang boleh dilukis okay so ada dua common tangent yang red lines ni tangent so mana dua lines of common tangent can be drawn for two circle that intersecting to each other okay uh, intersect at two point tengok Kat situ ada two lines of common tangent. Okay, so we go uh, to another example. Uh, so this one also, um, sorry yeah, this one also another line, another circles that intersect of two points. So the common tangent that can be drawn is also two. Okay, so we go to the another uh, pair of circles. Okay. Ah, this one is actually uh, intersect at one point. Ah, kat line, kalau tengok dekat line hijau tu, begitu dia dia intersect. Dia bukan intersect sebenarnya dia touch. Ha, sorry. Dia touch, dia sentuh saja at one point. So berapa bilangan common tangent yang boleh dilukis? So kalau you look at here, actually there are three common tangents can be drawn. Dekat tengah tu yang warna hijau and another two uh, warna merah tu. The red color. Uh, so there are three common tangents can be drawn for the two circles that touching at one point. So we go to another circles, another pair of circles. Okay. <coughs> um, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So this one is the two circles that is do not intersect to each other. Uh, do not touching to each other. Do not intersect. Okay, uh, kalau tengok okay, bilangan tangents yang boleh dilukis, the common tangent can be drawn are four. Two green colors and two red colors. Okay, so there are four common tangents can be drawn. 
Okay, the red ones. It's one red, two red, third green, and a fourth green. There are four common tangents. Okay, so... So, actually, uh, bila ada two circle, berapa common tangent yang boleh dilukis? Semua sekali lah. Satu, dua, tiga, dan empat, kosong tu tengok tak ada dalam syllabus kita. So, syllabus kita hanya ada nak draw... Uh, one common tangent, two common tangents, three common tangents, and the four common tangents. So that's all about a uh, common tangent. So now we go to the example um, to solve problem involving tangent to the circle. Okay, so scan kita ada two circle, two different sizes of circle, the big one and the small circle, uh, with the center G and center E. So, given that BC is a common tangent to the two circle. Maksudnya kat sini kita tengok common tangent. Tangent sama pada dua circle ni ialah tangent BC ataupun tangent ABCD tu lah line kat bawah tu. Okay, so now kita nak calculate the length of BC. Okay, so dia bagi kat situ apa lagi information yang dia bagi. The given information uh, is radius. The radius for the, for the big circle is 5 cm. And for the small circle is 4 cm. Okay. So, kita nak tengok eh. Kita tahu ABCD lah tangent. So, macam mana kita nak draw. Kita nak cari B. Okay. Saya cepatkan sikit video ni. Okay. So, now. ah, So, dia draw eh. Okay. Sorry. 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 Saya under sikit. Okay. Ha, so, kat situ B dengan C automatically akan menghasilkan 90 degree sebab apa? Itu ialah tangent kena pada radius 90 degree. Lepas tu dia akan jadi selari. BG dengan CE selari lah parallel to each other. Okay. So, kita nak cari panjang BC kat situ. Ha, so, kalau tengok kat situ ialah yang terhasil B, C, E, G ialah a trapezium. Okay. A trapezium. So, kita nak lukis, kita draw balik, kita nak cari panjang BC. Okay. So, dekat sini dia sambung satu line. Ha, dia draw satu line. Line tu sebenarnya sama dengan panjang BC. Okay. Ha, dia draw dengan rectangle. Dia buat rectangle. Okay, ini kan trapezium. Trapezium, trapezium ialah hasil antara uh, combi combination of rectangle and triangle. So, sekarang ni dia potong dia jadikan uh, rectangle kat situ. So, rectangle tu dengan panjang um, ABC, CE, okay. uh, 4 cm, 4 cm. Lepas tu dia keluarkan um, triangle tu. Ah, triangle dekat situ. Dia jadikan point dekat dia potong tu M. And then uh, GME, triangle dekat situ. So, kita boleh cari panjang GM. Uh, ME ialah actually sama dengan BC yang kita nak cari tu And the length of BC <coughs> Okay So um, ME is equal to BC <coughs> Suara dia cikgu ha Okay um, Macam mana nak cari ME Nak uh, tergedik-gedik pula Klik ni ha Kita okay, kejap eh Saya cepatkan sikit Okay Okey, dekat sini. Okey, boleh tengok. Ha, 1 cm dekat situ. Sebab apa? Lebihan daripada bila dia potong 4 cm. Daripada 5 cm tu ialah 4 cm. And the balance dia tu ialah 1 cm. Okey, macam mana dapat GE tu 9 cm? Jeng, jeng, jeng. Okay, kalau tengok dekat sini. Kita tahu yang G center dia. F kat situ ok ialah dia punya radius radius a bit triangle ah. so GF ialah 5cm F tu dia letak point kat situ ok malah Shopee pula eh <laughs> ok and then EF EF ialah radius pada small uh, circle tu so dia combine dekat situ panjang dia jadi 9cm 5 plus 4 is 9cm So, uh, kita tengok ke okay. another point is nak cari dia punya line. Line nak ketuk pintu pula dah. Okay, sekejap eh. Sorry. Okay, so kat sini aku guna guna Pythagoras theorem. 9cm, 1cm. So, nak cari 
ME ha. Dia bagi kat awak pula formula Photographs Theorem ha. Biasalah tak ingat kan Nah gitu So kita dapat uh, Line BC which is equal to ME Nine square the hypotenuse Minus one square So kita dapat dia ialah 8.9 For that is the length of BC So now kita nak cari BGF BGF is the um, the angle Okay, the angle of BGF So daripada triangle ni Awak boleh cari angle tu Dengan menggunakan mana-mana lah oh, Sebab kita dah ada semua length So awak boleh guna cos Ataupun awak boleh guna tangent Ataupun awak boleh guna um, sine So now dia guna cos Sebab dia nak ambil satu dengan sembilan tu Uh, so, cos BGF ialah adjacent of hypotenuse which is 1 and hypotenuse is 9. So, 1 over 9. So, nak cari angle BGF. Awak kena shift cos kat sebelah. So, jadi shift cos 1 over 9. So, awak dapat angle BGF is equal to 83.62 degree. Okay, so this is the example of the common uh, solve for to solve Uh, tangents to the circles Okay So kita tengok another exercise Okay So that's all Thank you